Welcome to session 21, our final session, final formatting. Let's do a couple more formatting items. Uh, let's make sure we can see the tens in both directions from minus 10 to positive 10, positive 10 on the y-axis and minus 10 so that we can see it go all the way around. Now there's a few things we could do. The quickest thing that I'm going to do here is to choose this section and I'm going to choose an input box. Now for my input box, I'm going to put it over here, I guess. And I'm going to give it a caption of day by degrees. And now we're going to link it to orbit. So if we click in the link to orbit and press OK. Now it's dark there, we'll fix it up. But don't forget to come back and get control of your cursor. So now if you just get over here and you right click, that's the input box. I'm going to go to settings. In style, it doesn't need to be that long. We really only need it to be about eight units. And we'll make the color white. Now notice now there's two choices. So we'll make the foreground color white, but we'll make the background color dark. And the reason we're going to do that is then it'll show up better white on dark. So right now it's set at zero degrees. So the reason I did this, it gives us a handy way to, let's say we want to put in the equinox. So we put in 90 degrees and it jumps up there. Or we could put in 270 degrees and it'll jump down there. So that's a, uh, a handy way. There's other, we could do all manner of things like using text boxes and so on. But I think in the interest of time, we'll stop there. And I will just toggle over to Excel where you could make yourself a little chart where you take it any day of the year, take the previous December solstice, then subtract, subtract this from this and Excel will be smart enough to tell you the number of days. And then you can use this little formula to convert. So 360 degrees divide by 365 days is the number of degrees per day times the number of days is the number of degrees. So let's say we wanted to see what the configuration looked like on October the 12th. I should use 291 degrees. So I come over here, type 291, click outside, and that's what it looks like uh, at that time of the year. And I will say that remember that the North Pole helps us here because we can't really see length of day. But the good thing is the North Pole never spins. So on this day, which we said was October the 12th, on October the 12th, this is the North Pole's position basically for the whole day. And um, so the whole day it's in the dark, but it's getting closer and closer to the, um, to the Terminator line where it will become illuminated. So that's a little step you can do. And then here we go. Come up to this little icon and click on it. And as long as you're not on an object, it will be referring to the whole background. And let's turn off the grid. So if you click on the grid here, you'll get all these choices. We're going to choose blank. And we don't need the axis anymore because we've had them all of this time to guide us. And uh, for that matter, now you could turn off the algebra view, and there you go. You can uh, either use your text box, you can slide your slider. So you can either use your text box or slide your slider. There's a little arrow now showing up down in the lower left. We click on that, that'll start the animation and we can stop it where, start and stop wherever we want. So congratulations, you have a beautiful model here and um, you've learned a lot about GeoGebra and you've had some fun using your high school math. So mission accomplished, thank you very much. There were just two mistakes to call out. I called this input box a text box. It should be called an input box. And October the 12th, in the example we gave, the North Pole will actually get farther away from the Terminator as it approaches the uh, December solstice 
and it will remain in the dark until the following March equinox. Other than that, folks, I would like to express my appreciation to Paul and Alyssa for their help. And final formatting, we're done. I hope that you enjoyed building this Sun-Earth model.